It used to be painful to animate more than one character in a scene. You'd either end up with stiff, frozen figures or tools that could only lip sync with zero body movement. If you wanted actual interaction, yes. you had to animate each character separately, mm -hmm. sync all the voices, then stitch it together and edit it. And well, not anymore. There's a brand new multi-character animation feature that changes everything. Okay. Watch this video to learn how. Step one is to create your base image. You can either start with an already generated image or create an image in Design AI. I'll show you how to do it both ways. Let's generate an image. My image generator of choice is Sora. I'm going to remix two images to get one image of these two gorgeous ladies in a podcast studio. Next is to head over to Design AI and sign into your account. Click on Start a New Project. Pick your aspect ratio. I'm choosing 16.9 for YouTube and give it a name. To create the scene, click on Uploads to upload our image. On the right side of this drop-down menu, look for Lip Sync. Once you click on it, this editor pops up and prompts you to pick a face image or upload a video. In this tutorial, we're using an image. By selecting our image, these two face marks appear immediately identifying our character's faces. Select your characters in order of speech. The character you intend to speak first should be the first selection. Click on Next, which brings us to this page where we get to add a voice to our characters. When you are done, click on Confirm and Generate. It used to be painful to animate more than one character in a scene. You'd either end up with stiff, frozen figures or tools that could only lip sync with zero body movement. If you wanted actual interaction, yes. you had to animate each character separately, mm -hmm. sync all the voices, then stitch it together and edit it. You can also upload pre-recorded voices. This is great, especially when you want to make the characters interrupt each other or utter the same words at the same time. It makes the output even more realistic. To generate my voice, I will use 11 labs. In 11 labs, head over to the voices section and click the plus sign. We're going to choose the first option, which is the voice design. Write a prompt of the kind of voice you want and type some text to generate. I'm gonna miss the whole darn point. I'd rather build something that makes folks' lives easier. Eleven Labs gives you three options to choose from. If you find a voice you like, select and save the voice. You'll have to give it a name. If you don't like the voice you got, regenerate until you find one you like. Another option to try that is Free is Akul. Unlike Eleven Labs, it has limited voices, but it's free to use. You can find the links in the description box below. Here is a video of me layering uploaded voices. And well, not anymore. There's a brand new multi-character animation feature that changes everything. Okay. Watch this video to learn how. So what's been on your mind lately? <laughs> well, I've been thinking a lot about our next project. If you're enjoying the video so far, like and subscribe. Yes, it helps boost the video in the algorithm. The second method is by generating an image in Design AI. You can use image to image generation or text to image. Click on text to image and you get this editor that gives you different options. First is text space. You can leave your prompt improver on or turn it off. If you leave it on, the AI will add text to your initial prompt. Turn it off if you want the AI to stick to your instructions. Next is the aspect ratio. You can choose from the pre-made ones like TikTok or create a custom one. You can upload a face to match your generation with and even choose the desired color. You also get to choose between the three generation mode provided. I always leave mine to normal, which consumes four credits. And in the advanced settings, you get to input the seed number if you want. After all this, click on generate and you get your image. Always check details like hands, if they're off, regenerate. If you're not happy with the first result, generate again until you get one you like. You can see most of my images had an issue with the hands. I would say their image generator isn't the best, which is why I opted to generate my image in Sora. The software gives you two images by default. Once you're happy, head over to Lip Sync down here and hover on the number of the image you want to lip sync. Click on it and again, you are brought back here and you get to select the face you want to speak first. Click on next and add your script or upload an audio. Confirm and generate. 
Uh, I'm so optimistic about uh, this. <laughs> so am I. Yeah. I tried side view characters, something most tools mess up, and the lip sync still worked flawlessly. However, the side view doesn't work with all images. This is an image I generated here in design, and you can see, the software has a hard time identifying the faces of both characters. I also tried non-human characters like this cute talking fox. The procedure is the same, generate the image and then lip sync it. The body movement and expressions stayed smooth every time. The crazy part is it works on non-human characters too. Isn't that great? And that's how you can animate multiple characters in one scene, lip sync, body movement, and even non-humans, all in just a few clicks. If this impressed you and you'd love to try a similar tool that is free, click right here and I'll walk you through it step by step.